Hi there lovelies, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Back with episode three of the bridal series. So last week we created the bridal bouquet. The week before that we worked on dyeing all the flowers, getting all of the greenery prepped, and our color story was thanks to this handy dandy little cube of colors. And this was the one we picked. Either way, you get it. So now today we're gonna work on the bridesmaids bouquets. And we're gonna do it completely different than what we did for the bridal bouquet. It's gonna be a ton of fun. This is one of my favorite techniques and I think you're gonna get a kick out of it. All right, so we are ready to start building our bouquet for the bridesmaids. I'm gonna be using, again, the Italian Ruscus. This is the 14 inch, and we're gonna use some of these on their actual stems, but we're going to first scoot up all of our greenery, because these do scoot up, and then we're gonna cut it as close to possible at the bottom. So I'm gonna do that with this whole stack. I did it with two two stems of these. We also have a whole bunch of individual stemmed leaves as well, but I want a, a little bit more similar to what we did with the, the bridal bouquet. We threw in some more of the Italian Ruscus. So I want to do that as well for the bridal or bridesmaid bouquet. But this time around, what we're going to do, instead of building it all greenery first, then in the flowers, we're going to do what I like to call the bundle technique. So we're going to make tiny little bundles of greenery and flowers, and then we're going to put them all together. My vision for this is the bride, uh, bridesmaids bouquets are not going to necessarily be a posy size, so a really, really tiny bouquet, but they're definitely not going to be as large as our bridal bouquet. They're gonna be a little bit of a smaller version of that. The flowers, I'm not gonna be using all of the same flowers that were in the bridal bouquet, but a fair amount of the same ones. For the most part, I picked three of each style or one. One or three, except for this dolly flower right here. I only had two of them and I definitely wanted to have both of those in there. But the rest are either threes or ones, mostly threes. Oh, and fives. I have a five of this particular flower as well. So, we're all set with this. I did that while we were chatting. I'll just pop that in my, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna lay out all of my greenery across the table. It just, for me, is a little bit easier visually to grab a couple different things from each group. So I'm gonna do that right now, get this all set up and we will start working on building these little bundles. I want to tell you, don't get in your head too much with this. This method, you need to embrace the chaos and the mess because it all comes together at the end. You need to trust me on this. What we're gonna do, I think for each bundle, I will have at least one, if not two, of the Italian Ruscus, the larger stems that have a whole bundle to them. The individual ones I may add later. We may just hold on to these for the um, boutonnieres and centerpieces, possibly. We'll just see. We're gonna see what where we can stretch all of the greenery that I have already gotten ready and have to maybe prep up more stuff later if necessary. So I'm definitely working with some different size uh, wires here. It's fine. Once everything is put together, it's all going to hold together really well, so I'm not super worried about the short um, Italian Ruscus ones. Now, you don't have to put every single greenery in every single bundle. I would suggest actually not doing that. For flowers, you can do one, you can do, I wouldn't do probably more than three in a bundle. Um, and I typically don't put the same flower in twice in a bundle. and put them in different spots, play around with it. It doesn't need to be perfect. You'll see when we pull it all together why you don't have to put everything in the same direction or next to each other. And we'll also probably adjust the heads of the flowers as, ne that's why I keep doing this, as needed. It's just gonna depend on um, how they all look together. 
All right, so don't get in your head. Remember this, do not get in your head. And I want an extra little piece of greenery there. Okay, so once you have your bundle, you're going to grab whatever tape that you're gonna hold everything together. I like to use the green vinyl tape. Electrical tape will work too. And then kind of close to where, we're gonna want a little length on this. So a little bit closer to the bottom of the Italian Ruscus stem is where I'm gonna tape this all off. Because when we start putting all these bundles together, we need to hide all those little pieces of tape and that only is gonna work if it's not right up at the top of the base. Bring it down a little bit, okay? All right, there's one bundle down, another probably yeah, 10, 10 to 12 bundles we'll probably do, we'll see. What I'm gonna do, that is too low of a vase. I think I'm gonna grab some sort of vase where I can, well, actually, you know what? Do I, do I trim stems now? Maybe. Normally I don't till the end, but I kinda wanna be able to see with the bundles as I start adding them into this, I might need less. I may only need like five or six bundles. So I might make a, a handful of bridesmaids bouquets all with what I have in front of me. We'll see. All right, bundle time. Break. There should be a song for the bundle time. It's like a whistle while you work kind of thing. So definitely get some tunes or a movie or something going while you're making all these little bundles. And once again, do not get in your head too much. Okay? Promise me. Remember how I said this is super easy? We're almost done. Um, it's such a fun and easy way to create a bouquet. I mean, I could just leave it like this. I'm not going to. I am gonna take some actual like thought to how I want to do these. And I did do one, let's see. I think it was this one maybe. No, it was this one. Um, then I kind of thought, okay, this will be the starting off point. So then what I do when it comes to these is I look and I'm like, okay, it's, if there's greenery on this side, then I'm gonna wanna put a flower around that. And if there's say a flower on this side, I'm gonna wanna put, well, this one has two of the same flowers, so I don't want that. So we're gonna put the greenery towards there. I do have six bundles total. That was the amount um, with all of the Italian Ruscus, the single stems that I had. This is also the time you can still adjust how high and how low the flowers are. It's a little bit easier to pull them out than push them in a little bit. You can also adjust then the shape of the, just the shape of the flower as far as if we wanna turn the, um, turn the wires a little bit oh other other little tip or tidbit i did leave some extra flowers i didn't use all of the flowers i saved some smaller ones and one of that um pink one that i have quite a few of so that then once we're done building the bunches We can add some flowers in if there's any holes. I'm not seeing a ton of holes right now. 
are you guys you can leave them in the comments so this is more of a round standard kind of bouquet slightly wild because we're using greenery that definitely has a lot of um flow to it that's going to kind of do what it wants i like to normally have more greenery kind of towards the ends than flowers remember how i said flowers don't touch flowers well that flower is going to touch that flower the only thing i'm noticing from this arrangement is i've got that triangle of those flowers and there's a little bit too many of them as far as in that area and i don't have any over on this side but i do have one extra so We'll keep that in mind. This part, you could also really overthink. Try not to. As you can kind of see from my face, I am right now. We're going to start over. Now I still have though those, so I'm gonna wanna balance a little bit of my arrangement with having one over on the other side as well. I don't know that I need to add any more of the smaller flowers though. I think we're good. I really think we're good. It's that simple. Isn't that crazy? I love this technique. All right, so we're going to grab our vinyl tape. All right, see, this is where I said, remember, we gotta hide all of those. And they're right like where my hand would naturally want to go, which is completely fine, because what we're gonna do, we're gonna get tape stuck on our fingers is what we're gonna do. And I do find having tape, like sitting off the edge of a table, makes for a good like being able to make it nice and taunt okay you're you're bothering me you can't even see that probably i'm struggling i'll just voice it in case you can't visually see it i'm struggling right now just from the tape okay so i'm gonna hold it up above where the tape is and i'm gonna kind of tug but not so much that it pulls it off the table but tug enough and just keep wrapping down until i run out of tape I do have a few that the tape goes down much lower. That's okay too, because that's still gonna go like where my hands are. And we're going to put ribbon all the way down this is what I'm gonna do. I do need to trim some of these stems, as you can see. I got a couple, a group of them that are a little bit longer. I was just eyeballing it when I was cutting the wires, so. I wonder why I have wires all over the studio. That might be the reason. And I also have a vase right here. I could have put them all in there. Do I ever? No. Where's the fun and the cleanliness of that? All right. All right. Ah, she's so happy. Let's get a ribbon and uh, finish this up. Told you guys this is a real quick one, which is why I love this technique. Here, we'll just put it in here for right now. Don't fall over. Thank you. We got a little twisty turvy, but that's all right. I'll fix it in a minute. I'm gonna do, I, I don't know if this is actually a technique or if anybody else does it, but I like to do what I call like a little scarf. So I wrap it through and then I create like a little loop. or like a little pass through. And I'm gonna take my ribbon, if it will cooperate. It's so much easier to do it on your own without having to film it. There we go, there it is, there we go. And then just 
plug on that nice and tight. And then we have our little trail. You could cut that completely off if you don't want it. I'm just gonna cut it at an angle. And there's that. All right, my dears, here is the bridesmaid bouquet using the tried and true, absolutely love it, bundle technique. And again, here is our bridal bouquet in comparison to the bridesmaid bouquet. Definitely different sizes, but you know, that's the queen, if I'm gonna eat the greenery. That's the queen right there. Her pretty, pretty princesses need smaller bouquets. <laughs> I don't know, I don't make the rules, okay? And if you don't want to, and you want your bridesmaids to have huge bouquets, that's fine too. I, that's what I would do, because <laughs> more is more is more in my world. So bride, bridesmaid, bridal. We're done with the bridesmaid one. That's super fun and exciting. Now next week, I haven't decided for sure, but I think we're going to do the boutonniere and I'm going to share one of my favorite ways to do a boutonniere. It's a little non-traditional, but I feel like it's like a thousand times easier, at least in my brain, of how to make it work. And I love it so much. Um, we've done it a couple of times and I'd like to share it again with you guys. So stay tuned for that next week. We might even throw in a, um, maybe um, corsages, like a wrist corsage at the same time. Maybe that's what we'll do and then we'll wrap it up or we'll keep going um, and do centerpieces, maybe an arch piece, a swag piece, maybe. I really would love to do one with a ton of Italian Ruscus and I have a ton, so maybe that's what we'll do too. You're just gonna have to stay tuned to find out, but we're gonna have uh, quite a few of these videos all with this color story for the lovely um, bridal series for 2023. Ah. If you have any questions, as always, just drop them down in the comments and we'll answer those as soon as possible. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, wanna know the next time we go live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 styles of Lulewood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ohyourlovely.com. But before you do, let me give you a code. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys, I'll see you next week for another episode of our bridal series. It will be a surprise. I'm not sure what I want to do next. I'm just going to give myself a minute to kind of percolate, uh, marinate a little bit and decide which one we want to dive in next. And I'll see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely. You, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.